Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. With the back to school being fully in season, I decided what is a better time than right now to show you guys my entire organization system, both on my MacBook and on my iPad. By the way, thank you so much for the love that I've gotten on my tech videos. They're gonna be linked somewhere on the screen, so go watch them as well. But those videos have gotten some questions regarding my workflow and I'm hoping this video is gonna answer some of those requests. So let's get into it. So let's start with my MacBook. I have it over here, so if I'm looking down you know why and I already have my recording that's rolling so I said this phrase so many times so I'm gonna be shrinking into the corner of the screen and you're gonna see it now so my holy trinity of the things that I use is seen on my desktop over here it is Apple Calendar, the Notion and Arc we're gonna start with Apple Calendar and I know that it is a bit sort of controversial because a lot of people use Google Calendar. However, Apple Calendar just seems to do everything that I needed to do and I like how it is sort of an app instead of opened on the browser, so. So opening my calendar, this is what I have so far. And as you can see in my iCloud, I have a couple calendars. I think there's six. And my favorite thing to do is to customize the color of my calendars. That is literally the reason why I will uh, like forever stick to Apple or Google Calendar because they let you customize your colors. And and I have a personal tab, a study tab, a classes tab, a tasks tab, events tab, and exams tab. The Apple Calendar has a couple of view options such as the day option. I don't have much planned for today, actually anything. So I'll just go to someday, I don't know, like here possibly. Yeah, so I have my classes here at least. And then I have the week setup. As you can see, there's also my classes, my month setup, and my year setup. Why I love Apple Calendar also is because you can create events with Siri and sometimes when I'm on the go or at home and I just don't want to get my phone and start typing out events, I can literally just tell Siri that it's time to create an event and it's going to create it automatically. I also love the feature up here, which is the plus button. That's where you add quick events. So as it says, movie at 7 p.m. on Friday, it uses natural language instead of you having to fill out different tabs. And I just really enjoy that. I think it's super user friendly and super like easy to understand. I love creating them because on the month tab they look more like a bar instead of a dot and I just like the look of that more. I wish all events had that but I guess it's a way to distinguish things. It's not an all-day event so we're just gonna move it. You can always drag your calendars and it's pretty cute and I don't know I just think for the purpose of a university student that doesn't have a ton of meetings and a ton of events happening every single day, Apple Calendar is probably the best option. As well as that, you can repeat events like I mentioned before. It's also very natural language, like every day, every week, every month. You can always set that with Siri as well or with the quick add event. And you can also include travel time, which I really like because then it's gonna send you a reminder to leave. This was very useful when I had a long commute in high school. So if you have that sort of thing, Apple Calendar is probably the way to go. Moving on to the next app, it is Notion. And if you've seen my recent videos, I've already filmed a video on Notion that describes all of my templates for university, personal, YouTube, all of that life. And here I'm just gonna go over the university one since that's in the title of the video. However, if you're interested in more, definitely make sure to check that video out. The university page has to be one of my favorite pages because I just spent the most time on it to make it the most user-friendly. I have cute widgets over here. I have the time widget basically because on Notion, if you have it open full screen, which is sometimes what I do, you don't see the time because it's all the way up in the corner and you have to toggle to it to open the dashboard. So I just have it over here in order to see the time at a glance and make sure I'm not missing anything. Over on the right side, I have my schedule of everything that I will have this semester. On the right side of that, I have my Google Calendar actually synced on my university page. It is the Google Calendar because I synced my Apple Calendar to my Google Calendar and then to Notion. And that was done, I know it's, it sounds crazy, but it was done because I don't think there is a direct way to link your Apple Calendar to Notion yet. Below the time widget of the flip clock, I have my today's to-dos, which is actually a very neat feature in Notion because it is a synced block and it's actually synced with my courses page which is over in the navigation below and I'll show you guys what that is later. In the today's to do is I sort of write down the smallest things like the smallest tasks that are not really related to the coming up 
um, database that I have over in the right and we'll mention that later but I also have a little cute little button in here over on the right as promised uh, here is my assignment database this database is probably going to be the core of notion for me because this is a way to organize all of your tests and all of your exams I have two different tabs for it do within the week and do within the next month because at least for me it's uh, more pleasant to see everything at a glance of what's due next week and I usually don't tend to work a month ahead so probably the next week is the one I'm going to be looking at the most going back to the university tab I have different filters for my sort of assignments and tasks I have the status whether it's done or not I have the course which it is in it's just the whole like select feature so you can add your courses here the name of the task when it's due the type in the navigation on the left i have my courses page which we're going to go to after this and i have a couple mentions which mentions are basically links in a smaller format so they look more aesthetically pleasing on notion of the different websites that i'm going to need for a uni and i have quick links to courses which are the courses i'm going to be taking in the first year and that is why i have them here just to have them access quickly Let's go over to courses. I have this nice little cover also from Pinterest, obviously, and this icon of a book. I have a coming up also links over here and I have different little images here to make this page more nice looking. Uh, over here I have a widget of Spotify. It is very easy to do. You just go onto a playlist on Spotify. You like click the share button, click embed and that's how you paste it into your notion to look this way and you can control the music you're playing off of notion which is super useful so i also have my today's to do synced block so now i can finally show you guys what it does for example if we add a new task and say film anything really it's going to sync hopefully it's going to sync to the university tab and of course if you mark it as finished you can go back to courses and see that there it is finished as well so that was my university page and that is why we're going to go over to the next app that i use and it is arc i talked about this so much in my unboxing video because i was so excited to use it and this definitely has lived up to its expectation because i can get to split up my life in different sort of pages and that to me is very important because i really hate when something university wise pops up on my youtube page and then i'm like what am i even doing um so that is why i created three different tabs which are personal YouTube and uni. So I have the different bookmarks for each of those pages in the different pages. So now they're not mixed up. And I really like the feature of art because you can set up your different wallpapers for your browser. And I know this is like kind of stupid because it's just purely aesthetically based. However, I just like creating those new spaces. For example, let's create a sample space. I think I already showed you in the MacBook video. However, let's just see and to choose a theme you can basically click on different colors and you can add another one and then you can move them around to create a beautiful looking gradient by the way with the customization you can also add green over here and you can customize your sort of opacity on it as well so i'm not going to create the space because i don't need another one however that is what i have so far Okay, so let's get onto my iPad. I actually have it over here. And as you can see, I hope you can see the screen already. My setup is sort of a bit different from my MacBook, but I'm probably not gonna, you know, sync it up, make it look similar, but who knows. The most important widget to mention here, because all of these are basically images, is the calendar widget. I just kind of have it there to see my events and it's the medium sized one. And Basically, the iPad is similar in terms of Notion because that is synced up. You can see my university page over here. It has the same exact widgets, the same exact um, setup. And I just like it here because sometimes I have a quicker access to my iPad than my computer. And by the way, I also have them on my phone, but I'm just not going to go through that because it would be boring to just show you how my Notion is synced up. Continuing on, I also have my calendar over here and the calendar has the exact same setup to me and I basically mostly use it just to create events and reference my schedule. The thing that is different on the iPad is actually GoodNotes. GoodNotes is my go-to app for note-taking. I know there's so many options right now with free options like Call a Note and paid ones like Notability. I've tried Notability, the free trial. I still preferred GoodNotes. So that is what I stuck to. I have them over here. There's something wrong with my cloud, but let's hope it's nothing serious. And I basically had the GoodNotes 6, I think, update. And I had it for a year. I just decided to buy it for a year, not for forever. And 
I used it for a bit, I still have it, but it's ending soon because I decided that it's just not worth really the upgrade because I think the Good Notes 5 is sort of good enough on its own and the features in Good Notes 6 were just not impressive enough for me to keep paying for the Good Notes 6. So I have two folders over here so far. I have IB, which is all of my stuff from IB. I only kept three subjects because that's the ones I'm gonna need. And I created a new folder just to keep myself organized for the university. And that's just the first semester of things that I'm gonna need to take. To my one notebook so far, it is the math notebook. If you're wondering how I did the little cute Muji setup, I think it's so much better than the default um, good notes stuff. So let's just get on to that. I'm gonna create a normal notebook just to show you guys the options that they have. This is what comes with GoodNote 6, by the way. I think it looks a bit different on GoodNote 5. And you can basically customize all of your colors and you can make custom themes as well, which I found cute. And you know, if you need that, if you really want that, it's the way to go. However, I just think creating different notebooks like this, it doesn't matter what sort of theme you choose, you can just input this as an image. So this Muji cover is an image downloaded from Pinterest, obviously. And for math and most of my subjects, I use the squared sort of template and I customized mine actually, so I, it might run out by the time I get to uni. And it is the white one with gray grids. I just like that because it has this sort of seamless look and when you look at the notes from sort of far away from reading distance, it doesn't look like there's anything, but your notes still look very organized. But what I wanted to demonstrate on the iPad, which is a super neat trick in my opinion, if you go into your monthly calendar and if you split screen, which God bless Apple for creating split screen because I use it almost every time I study, I open my textbook or the PowerPoint slides on the right side, actually on the left side most of the time, and I open my good notes on the right side so I can write, take notes alongside looking at the actual textbook or PowerPoints. So the neat, trick, the neat trick I was talking about, you go into your events, for example, let's take September 6th. I don't really know what's happening there, but okay, let's see, I have a class here. If you press and hold on the event and then you drag it over to GoodNotes, it's gonna duplicate it onto GoodNotes. And if you do use a GoodNotes calendar or something along those lines, it is super neat. I hope this video was useful for you and if you were the person that asked me the question about my workflow I hope this somehow at least a little answered your request and if you guys have any more requests or questions or things that you want me to show you and share about my organization or academic sort of life or any anything of that sort actually please let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely see what I can do. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!